Hey Scrapper, it's welcome to another episode of Loose Scrapper. Um, Alright, so tonight I'm going to talk about silver. Where to find silver. Um, you can find silver in a lot of places and you know, it's one of those things that if you don't know where it is, you don't know where to look, but once you know where it is, you, you find it all over the place. Um, I totally missed this one for years uh, until um, a couple of my subscribers told me to start looking for them. Ned, talking about you. Um, so, you can find silver in, in so many places. Um, everyone knows about, you know, the silver mylars and keyboards. And you have these you know, things that are in the middle of the keyboards. Um, you need nitric acid to get the silver out of these. Um, and it, most yields are about 26 mylars equals about 4 grams. So, not really worth it. Um, for the for the mylars, if you have a whole bunch of them, by all means, go for it. You know, nit nitric acid can be used quite a bit until it's, it's spent. Um, but you can find a lot more silver in other places, um, in much higher quantities. Um, everywhere from light switches, circuit breakers, um, these little relays they find in electronics. Um, Find them in, anywhere there's a switch or a relay, you're going to want to look. You know, even in, in funky setups like this, where you have you know, all of these little switches, and inside there, inside of each one, there's just a little piece of silver. But you add them all up, and it adds up quick. Alright, so, let me show you. So this is, um, well, the 40... 30 to 40 grams of silver. Um, there is a little bit of copper in there, but you know, you give it a, a, a bath in, in hot hydrochloric and the copper should come right off uh, and any of the metals that are attached to it. So, I'm going to show you. Um, so, here's an example of, a, of like a little motor, a little relay or something, a little switch. So, if you find one of these things, If you find a little box like this on a circuit board, and they're all over the place, you find them in TVs, you find them just about everywhere. You, know, you, you crack that plastic shell off, and inside here, right there, right there, that's a silver contact. So you can just pop these off and put them aside. After a while, you have a, a good bit of them. Now. Inside circuit breakers, you know, I know the you know, first thing I want to hear is, oh, smooth move, dummy, you just broke a $20 breaker for you know, a few cents worth of, of, of metal. Well, this one's dead, and I, I make sure that uh, everything that I scrap, um, unless I scrap one thing for the purpose of a video, I make sure that if I scrap it, I'm getting, I'm, I'm making sure that it's dead, or I've at least tried to sell it. Um, if I've tried to sell it and it doesn't sell, I scrap it. So scrap is the lowest value you're going to get for something, so make sure you try and sell it first. Um, Alright, so I have a regular light switch here. If you look right, so right in there, you're going to see two little silver contacts as well. And there's a bunch of brass in there as well. Um, so the bigger the more voltage going through it, the usually the bigger the contact. So contacts in like washers, dryers, stoves are going to be bigger than, say, in, you know, I don't know, something small. So keep looking. And now that you know where to look, you're going to start seeing them all over the place. Put them in a jar, you know, and it doesn't take much. Once you have an, I mean, this is... This is almost an ounce, so that's about, you know, I would say this is about twenty dollars worth of silver right here. Right, twenty bucks, silver. Right. All right, so I think that about does it. So silver, you're going to find it in relays, switches, um, keyboard mylars. Um, you got to be careful. A lot of things you're going to find that look silver, uh, but they're just silver plate, like especially in like a dual pole breakers. There's like a little uh, UP shaped in there, uh, UP shaped 
thing that, that looks like it's silver, kind of feels like it's silver, but it's silver plated copper. So, um, and that's it. So, go make some money. See you on the next one. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, you can also find silver in batteries, uh, silver oxide batteries. Uh, these are the ones that do not say lithium on them. Stop! Don't go anywhere! Comment. Say something. I want to hear from you. Why don't I want to know if you think I'm doing something great, I'm doing something bad, what I can do better. All comments are great. Make a suggestion what you want me to scrap next. And see you on the next video.